I often thought how exciting would it be to experience Christine de Pizan in her own words, this medieval woman, widowed at the age of 25, who turned to writing in order to support her family. And so for 75 minutes, that's exactly what you see and hear on stage is Christine in her study telling her life story through her poems and letters and the gorgeous books that she published. These are entirely Christine's words. She wrote many of her works meaning for them to be read aloud, which is one of the reasons why they're so conversational and sometimes shocking and challenging. Fortune changed me with one bolt. She made my body melt and mold into a man, real, genuine, where once a woman I had been. She took on issues that we're still struggling with today. Simone de Beauvoir wrote of Christine's work that this is the first time we see a woman take up her pen in defense of her sex. She entered into a scorching debate about the fair and respectful representation of women in literature. Mais pour Dieu, hein? explain to me the benefit of the long declamation in which the priest, the so-called genius, seems to maintain that the sin of lechery is nothing but a virtue. Ugh. I cannot be silent about something so maddening. I get great questions like this during the discussion after the show. Christine was smart. She dedicated the letters of the debate of the Romance of the Rose to the Queen of France, thereby gaining a royal patron and the protection and freedom to continue speaking her mind. More and more, Christine spoke up on matters of national importance, begging the royal family to address the troubles of the kingdom. I called to mind the peril to the kingdom of France because of these recent civil wars just passed so that we may protect ourselves. Christine wrote over 40 works, including a book on warfare and military tactics, the official biography of King Charles V, colorful allegories filled with political commentary and autobiographical details, religious and spiritual writings, hundreds of poems and ballads, and her final work was a rousing exhortation to the people of France to accept Joan of Arc as their liberator from years of English occupation. Know this. By her, the English all will be raised down. No more to rise. God deems it. For he heard the call of righteous men. So brutalized. The scholars and translators of Christine's work that I've talked to have been so supportive of this project and a tremendous resource as well. My goal is to help bring this remarkable woman and her words back into our consciousness. The timeliness and the resonance that her words have within our own social and political times will just astonish you. <laughs>